real one? Everybody that's anybody strives to make it to Pelican Bay for that notoriety. This is where all the killers come. If you made it to Pelican Bay, you made it. The question was raised as my conscience fell. A silly little lie. It didn't mean much. But it lingers still in the corners of my mind. You have the white boys. Most of them will, will probably lean towards the Nazi Little Riders or the NLR or the Aryan Brotherhood, the AB. One of those white boys is Joseph Shotgun Harmon. I have bolts under my armpit for gained by stabbing an African. Harmon is doing 17 years for assault with a deadly weapon. Right here is a stabbing, violence predicted. Biker having his throat cut by me. He's also a member of the yeah, Nazi well. Lowriders, a gang leader. We're about killing and getting next to you and killing you. You know, get you in the house and kill you. Two people move in that house, the net one goes out in a body bag. Violence is how Harmon made his bones and got into the Nazi lowriders. It's how everyone gets in. I'm a blooded Nazi lowrider. That means for each letter I have, I stab somebody to get my letters. Harmon earned his way to Pelican Bay in 2002 by stabbing an inmate in another prison. This is my comfort zone. This is where I feel most comfortable. Not out there, not in your front yard, not in your house in the middle of the night while I'm stealing everything you got and got you tied up, torturing you or whatever. I feel comfortable right here on this yard with wars jumping off, stabbings all around me. That's where I feel comfortable. That's where my mind is, is the most clear and focused. There will be more lockdowns and uh, just because uh, of the type of inmate that we house here, um, they are of the mentality, um, they are a violence-based type of inmate, and uh, they're always trying to um, look for ways to either push their drugs or to get more power on the yard, to get more territory on the yard. Um, so, in my opinion, it's inevitable there will be future lockdowns. Joseph Shotgun Harmon spent six years in the shoe as a leader of the Nazi lowriders. Then, the Gang Investigations Unit, or IGI, confronted him with evidence of his gang-related crimes. When the IGI told me, look, I'm gonna give you this one opportunity to change your life. And I'm sitting in my cell and I'm thinking, is this what the rest of my life is gonna be? Is it gonna end up in this box? Is this where I'm gonna die? The IGI gave him a choice. Leave the gang or lose all visiting privileges with his family to break somebody, they have to get to know that individual intimately and find out what his weakness is. They, they found out what my weakness was, and, and that's what they used against me. Harmon chose to leave the gang. Now, he's a marked man. I left, but they'll kill me if they get in next to me. But every, all of them will, blood in, blood out. You leave in a body bag. <laughs> 